Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce your newest light garage remote masker, which supports code deleting, remote cloning, frequency setting, and data recovery. Slide down the cover. You can see the LED light. Up button, down button, lock button, and pause button. Step one: delete code. Now let's talk more about its functions and usage. Before remote cloning, we need to check the status of the remote to make sure the code is deleted. Now, as long as you keep pressing any key button, the LED light is always on, which means that the code hasn't been deleted. Then, how to delete code? Press and hold up and down buttons at the same time. You can see the LED light turns on. When the light turns off, release the buttons. Press and hold pause button until the light goes off. Then release the button. Now the light will flash once, then go out quickly when we press any button of the remote. It means the code is deleted. Step two, remote cloning. And now make sure the frequency of the remote is the same as the original remote. In case the remote cloning failed or the remote is working but its working distance is too short, okay. Now let's start remote cloning. There are three steps. Number one, press and hold any button. The remote will enter the cloning mode. The LED light will flash and then go out. Number two, pull the original remote next to the masker. Then press and hold the same button on both remotes. Once the light goes on. The current button is successfully cloned. Number three, follow the above steps to clone all buttons one by one. Okay, we finished the remote cloning, and we'll show you guys how to change the frequency, recover data, and other features in the next video. Bye.